Hallelujah. Good morning and how are you? Amen. We can come on board by the grace of God. Uh, just bear with us. We are uh, a bit rich with some few minutes, but it's all for the glory of God. Amen. It is well. Um, the Lord has uh, woken me up with uh, something this morning. And uh, I'm requesting, I've been awake for some time, so um, now I, I, I'm requesting the church in the world, and I'm requesting the nations of the world to pray for the country of Uganda, you know, to pray for, to intercede for Uganda. Uh, uh, for some time, I've been seeing um, something I've already uh, sent on uh, Facebook today, very early in the morning. I've been seeing uh, some learning battles, you know, and, and I've been seeing uh, uh, a kind of an imposed government in the nation of Uganda. And uh, I don't know what is happening. Father, thank you for the blood of Jesus. And I don't know what is happening to Uganda, but as prophets of God, we just caution and uh, we, we speak what we are seeing and, uh, you know, we say what the Lord is saying. Uh, so that uh, we are able to to pray guided it is good to pray with understanding amen so uh let us uh, mention the country of uganda in the presence of the lord and i know that god is going to do something now i i, I still want to prepare the church in the world that uh, we are in any time so we cannot pray away or wish away the signs of any times but we can pray. We can pray that the masses of the Lord will prevail. Uh, now, the Lord has woken me up with something. Again, concerning United States, we have been speaking and, uh, you know, speaking the word of God. And I want to clarify before I minister to us today. I want to clarify that what is happening in the U.S., it's not even about... Um, about uh, you know who is who is uh, who is being wrecked or who is going where, it is about the prophetic destiny of that country. It's about uh, the prophetic destiny. So she is in her prophetic river world, and um, it's a kingdom. I mean, it's a matter of power to power. It's a matter of power to power, and kingdom to kingdom. And uh, many of us in the world you know uh, uh, the United States is such a determining factor of so many things that happen in the world. And uh, now this is where the rubber meets the Lord. Uh, what is happening in the U.S., it's about the, the nations of the world. It's not even about her. It's about the nations of the world because uh, what is happening right now, it's as, as uh, it happened at Mount Carmel. That is what the Lord has put in my spirit. And we had been saying before, if you look at our status, you know, as, our, as, our, as our, uh, the post we have done before concerning the USA, uh, the Lord said from the beginning that what will happen in the elections of the United States, it's about uh, two kingdoms. It's about two kingdoms. And... Um, Everybody know why there is a path that is leading to hell, you know, uh, to destruction. That 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 path is wider, and uh, massive is the support that we'll always get uh, in the world uh, to the things that are not of God. Massive, hallelujah. So it's about it's about uh, two kingdoms, and uh, uh, it's about the, the the prophetic destiny of that country. It's about uh, it's about. Uh, the, the the end time operations in the world, Hallelujah. So um, as we continue mentioning the uh, the United States in the presence of the Lord, I want to prepare the United States that uh, after these things are not go going to turn back to the same. It, USA will never be the same. Uh, United States will never be the same. It will never be the same. And uh, because of that, um, we, we are going to, you know, I was hearing this morning, I could hear, you know, groans and cries of pain in locked rooms. I, I could see, you know, children of God, men lying flat on the floor, groaning and interceding. And I also want to prepare Africans, prepare yourselves for massive return of your people from the USA. Just prepare, not only from the USA, from Europe, from Canada, and 
from other places, there is going to be such a massive relocation of Africans from some of those countries back to their home because peace is going to be found in their home. Now there's also going to be a, a lot of you know uh, you know in the in the many days in the past many days we saw Africans go as refugees to the, some of those countries. Now it is going to be vice versa. It is going to be vice versa. We are going to see some of these people from these main main main, main uh, uh, countries and major ones. You know where are the countries now turn to Africa, looking for peace, looking for places you know to to, to hide and to have peace so they can enjoy peace so uh that is where we are right now we have been saying these things before but the time is now and uh, you are going to see the fulfillment of the word of god in the name of jesus christ but there's no cause of alarm there's no cause to panic uh because we are in any times we expect uh you know jesus was preparing the disciples and he told them when you see these things just know um you know you know that uh you know these are signs of a time Sorry, those are signs of end times, but uh, the end is yet to come. So just prepare yourself to see these signs and uh, just just remain ready. Just remain ready. Uh, remain ready. I mean, remain ready in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Um, I want to finish up with something this morning. We have been talking about um, about um, you know entering into the season, entering into the season, entering into the season. I'm hearing too much to hear about nations, but uh, I want to control that because I want to release the last uh, uh, portion of what I've been handling this week by the grace of God. God allowing me to do or tomorrow I will come online and speak to some nations by the grace of God. Now listen to this. Uh, Oh, wow, I also want to prepare the nation of Kenya. You know, I love my country. Uh, be very careful about what is going on in the in the U.S. because the same threat may hit your country. But we are praying. We are praying for the nation of Kenya. What is going to to go on in the U.S. Uh, may, may may turn to be uh, what will hit the nation of Kenya. But the church has an opportunity uh, to take charge of this and to take control of this by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. Because it is a will of God for the true church in the nation of Kenya to determine, that is the heartbeat of God, to determine, hallelujah, uh, the, the next uh, president of the country. Uh, listen to this. I also want to correct something. I received a call. Uh, somebody was telling me what is happening in the media uh, platforms, uh, you know, prophets are, are being insulted, you know, they are being called liars, they are being called what? Now listen to this. Now, why we have prophetic graces and people in the prophetic office is to give guidelines and godly counsel and, and you know, to, to speak the mind of God, whether to governments or to nations or to what? Because God will never do anything, including positioning leadership of a nation. So you cannot separate a prophet of God with all those things. Hallelujah. It does not mean that we are becoming politicians. We are there to give the direction of God by his grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So a prophet may speak the word of God as it is, as we said concerning the nation of our USA. It is upon people to decide. Hallelujah. God did not choose a, re I mean, a king for the children of Israel. They requested prophet Samuel for a king, for a physical king. Hallelujah. Like other nations. They wanted to be like other nations. So people can choose People, God has given us that freedom of choice. We can prophesy and tell you this is the direction of God. This is the will of God. Hallelujah. That does not mean that when it comes the other way out, we are liars. We are not liars. We spoke the mind of God and the mind of God will not change. Hallelujah. It will not change. And I want the nations of the world to know when you go the direction uh, that which is not ordained of God for any choice you make in your life, there are repercussions. Hallelujah. And the, the world won't see. Uh, it's not going far. The world will see the result of the choices people make that are against the word of God or the will of God. Hallelujah. Because God will always use the prophet to for our own, you know, to give direction. Hallelujah. And that is it. That is it. So you insult us, you intimidate us. We, we are not, no, um, 
prophets of God are God's employers. I mean, they are, they are God's employees. Hallelujah. Sorry, they are God's employees. So they are not affected by your insult. They are not moved by, by whatever somebody thinks. Hallelujah. Because we, we, we don't speak our mind. We speak the mind of God. Hallelujah. So when we speak it out and you, you choose to go the other way out, that's, that, that, that's none of our business. We Our business is the business of the king. We speak the mind of God and leave it there. Hallelujah. It is you to decide whether you want to go on the side of the devil on the side of God. That is it. But how as we speak the mind of God and we tell you that says the Lord this is the will of God. This is the direction of God. Like what we said for the USA. Hallelujah. We said it's about two kingdoms. Hallelujah. And we said it is the will of God for the status quo to remain. That is the will of God. Hallelujah. And that is it. It will not change the mind of God. It will not change. It will not change anything. Hallelujah. As we have spoken the mind of God, so it is upon the people to decide what they want to decide. Amen. And uh, let me tell you the truth. The will of God and the counsel of God. The Bible says he caused the earth from the beginning and his counsel will stand. Hallelujah. The counsel of God at whatever time. That's what the Bible says. His purposes will prevail. That is God for you. Even now in the U.S., the purposes of God will prevail in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So I want to finish up on now. Uh, uh, something I've been handling by the grace of God and the command of God from the beginning of this week and I want to handle number five. I've been handling uh, some things that God is concerned about even as we wait on him. You know, uh, the Lord spoke to me and told me um, uh, you know, the church of Jesus Christ, particularly the, the Pentecostals, you know, when we hear God is saying this and we, uh, God is saying this, instead of now arising and taking steps, we hide ourselves in prayer. It's good to wage war. Uh, we are seeing that, uh, uh, Paul, uh, Mina, uh, uh, cautioning the, the, the son Timothy that from the prophetic word you have received uh, wage war, you know, with the, the words of prophecy, wage war they, they came into your life so that you may you may fight a good fight of faith Hallelujah. you'll be, be able to, 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 to contend for your, for, for your destiny using the prophetic word that was, was released in your life, hallelujah so that is it and, that, that, and that, 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 that is where we are and I've been telling the church, then after you have prayed, that's why James is saying, show me faith with, that, with the works and I show you my faith with works, hallelujah. Because uh, the faith without works will never bear fruit. It will never take you to your destiny. But the faith with works will bear fruit and take you to the destiny that God preordained for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We are pleading the blood of Jesus Christ upon our lives and everything that touches our lives in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for that quickening in my spirit. Amen. We are pleading the blood of Jesus. Even as you watch me this morning, I am pleading the blood of Jesus Christ upon our lives. Amen. Now, um, and uh, God has been speaking to us this week and telling us it is time. It is time for actualization. You know, it is time for God to get us to that which he preordained for us. It is time for us to become that which God purpose for you. It is time for he to get you to the good plans that are indicated in the book of Jeremiah chapter 29. Hallelujah. He knows the plans he has for you. He knows the thoughts he has for you. Hallelujah. So it is that particular time God brings us into that moment where that which he has said that becomes a reality and being reminded by the spirit of God the story about the children of Israel before they appeared, before they came into being, uh, God began with one man, Abraham, my God it is from that man, uh, he became the father of nations, hallelujah it is from his ruins, my God uh, we, we, the, the, the children of Israel, or the nation of Israel came up, hallelujah and God had prepared Abraham many years before they appeared uh, and he had told him whatever was going to transpire that they were going to be in the land of bondage for 400 years, even before they appeared, even long before Isaac was born, hallelujah and what are we seeing, when the time came for God, you know, he did all that, when Abraham was long gone, he was long dead hallelujah, you can see that my job, he was long dead, hallelujah actually they were, they were remembering and uh, you know, they, 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 they were remembering and mentioning the names of their fathers uh, you know, our fathers Jacob uh, Abraham and Isaac, hallelujah because there were four fathers now by the time the children of Israel, uh, God, by the time God sent Moses to deliver the children of Israel, they were they were for, they were they, they, they are, I mean um, they were their forefathers. They were long gone. They had rested with the Lord. Hallelujah. So this is what we are seeing. Before something happens, uh, God will always make sure He ha that's what 
the Bible says he will never do anything. He will never do anything until he has confined, until he has revealed it to his servant, the prophet. Hallelujah. Not, the Bible says he, God will never do anything. Hallelujah. Whether good or bad, because God is still God. When he's doing good or he's doing bad, God is still God. Hallelujah. And the Bible Paul is clarifying that, that, and he says, and we know that all things, whether they are good according to you or bad according to you, if they are being done by God, the Bible says that we know all things work out for our good, for those who love the Lord and are called according to his purposes, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So we have been saying, we are entered into this season of actualization, not hiding, and I've always said that there is a place of prayer, there is a place of now acting, you know, taking an action, hallelujah, taking a step of faith, and that's why I'm saying, enter into this season of actualization by faith, hallelujah, because if you enter it by sight, the pandemic, the, the demonic pandemic that the kingdom of darkness has released in the world, is going to cause you a lot of fear, it's going to cause you a lot of panic, it's going to cause you a lot of pain, hallelujah, it's going to cause you a lot of disorganization, hallelujah, and it's going to, things of this world, the dark world, they are going to mess up so many things, even your perception, hallelujah, but then, and then I know that I was getting excited, and I was speaking to my people as we did that, I know we were fellowshipping in uh, with my people and I was telling them uh, you know God knows we are here and that's why even before we appeared before we, we were born before we, we came into this world uh, Jesus prayed for us in the book of John chapter 17 uh, he made a prayer for us even before actually he said I'm not just praying for you I'm praying also for those hallelujah who will come and believe in my name hallelujah who will come and receive me as their personal savior I'm interceding for them now those are many years before I was born. Now those are many years ago. Hallelujah. More than 2,000 years ago. And here I am today saying, Lord, you know, he made a very profound prayer and he said, Father, I'm not praying that you remove this one from this, this ones from this world, but I pray that you may preserve them, that you may keep them, you may protect them from the evil one. Hallelujah. So it, despite whatever the evil one does in the world, the church of Jesus Christ will enjoy preservation. Hallelujah. God God is going to keep us here as long as he has given us life he's going to keep us here so it is our our sole responsibility as an individual to remain on the side of god and to focus on god and to wait on god and to know that god the one who began the good work in your life will still bring that work into accomplishment in his time in the name of jesus christ hallelujah so i'm saying this hour that there is a we are in a season of such prophetic shift hallelujah you know such prophetic uh, you know, disorganization and organization, hallelujah, so that we may become that which God preordained for our lives by his grace in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. So we are saying, enter, we, we are requesting the church that you enter into this season by faith, enter into it, hallelujah. Don't don't hide in prayer and fasting, don't, don't, uh, don't uh, you know, hide in, in sowing sins, learning, looking for one prophet after the other, hallelujah. Now that particular word, begin from there, that particular particular word you have received from the mouth of the Lord. Now begin there. Begin begin with that one this morning or whatever time it is in your country. Begin acting on that word. Actually, the Spirit of God is telling me this morning, it is time to act on what my people have heard from me. Hallelujah. Whether it is a written word or it is a rhema word from the mouth of a servant of God, it is time. Hallelujah. And so I want to speak about number five, what God is concerned about us. Hallelujah. And I want to speak about two things, but I'm going to I put them together so that we can finish the word of God uh, for now by the grace of God. So the Lord is concerned about our dreams. He's concerned about our dreams. He's concerned about our visions. God is concerned about our dreams. Hallelujah. Because let me tell you the truth, church. You know, we began by saying uh, the Lord has spoken maybe through Logos and or through the Rema word. Hallelujah. And uh, maybe you have written, uh, you, you have been transferring the details. The Lord is speaking to your life from uh, from all the years. Maybe you have been transferring them uh, and uh, you, you have too much of what the Lord has said concerning your life. So now the Lord is saying, uh, uh, I, I'm concerned. I, 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 even, even if I have spoken the word of God in your life, I'm also now concerned about your thoughts. What are you thinking? What is in your mind? Hallelujah. I'm concerned about that because uh, even 
even if I have, uh, even if I have spoken the word in your life, hallelujah, what you think matters the Lord, hallelujah, what th you think, hallelujah, if, if I've said, uh, there's a time somebody came to my life with her, with her two children, because uh, they, they had an attack of a, of, of a kind of a sickness, whatever we said, the doctor said it cannot be healed, and let me tell you, when I, I joined hands to pray with that woman, the Lord told me, I'm going to heal that person progressively, it is going to be a progressive healing, hallelujah, meaning today the Lord will do this, meaning next month he may do this, meaning the other time he's going to do this hallelujah but god told me i am going to heal them progressively hallelujah and i'm telling you in a in a in a in a, in a time of a of a of a you know a period of about two years my god every moment they went to the hospital there was a change there was transformation that is god for you hallelujah it's the same god i, I mean i i mean who 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 heals instantly but my eyes receive your sight hallelujah woman the, with the issue of blood the blood stops immediately Hallelujah. He's the same God, uh, God who causes Jesus in, in the book of uh, uh, John chapter 9 to spat on the floor, a prime mud, make mud and a prime man with his saliva. You know, make mud with his saliva and apply to that bride man who was born bright from birth. Hallelujah. And, uh, and he sends him to Shiloam. Hallelujah. He did not uh, do it instantly. There was a process of, uh, for this man to accomplish. So it is good to know how God is working with your life. And uh, I've already said he is your father. It is good to know whether he's working with you uh, uh, with dreams or visions, whatever he's going to use in your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now we say, be careful. God is concerned about your thoughts. He, that's why uh, Solomon is saying, yes, you think so you are. Now be very careful about your thoughts. Be very careful about your heart. Be very careful about your, what you see. Be very careful about your sight. Be careful about where you step. Hallelujah. Be careful about your feet. Not every place is your place. Everybody could be boarding their right my god and uh, and going to this particular country that's why you see some 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 africans go to look for some green pastures in some of these countries and uh, you know because everybody others are enjoying staying there but when you try to go there you 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 hallelujah you encounter pain hallelujah we have seen people even particularly women when they go to some of these countries to look for for jobs hallelujah other people are making it and they are they are, they are enjoying their blessings but when you try to go there because because everybody is going there. You don't enjoy your blessing because that is not the land of your inheritance. Hallelujah. We are seeing, the Bible says in the book of Genesis, there was famine as it was during the time of, 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 of Abraham. Hallelujah. And now this time it was the time of, it was the now season for Isaac. And the Bible says the same famine that was in his father's time repeated in itself. And God is telling Isaac in, his, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a Genesis chapter 26, you are not going to go to Egypt because when the famine came during the time of Abraham, Abraham went to seek for help or to seek for, 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 for divine intervention. He went uh, to sort himself uh, out, my Jehovah, in the land of Egypt. Hallelujah. So God is telling Isaac, you're not going to do it with the formula of your father. Hallelujah. You are not, you are going to stay here in the land I'm going to show you. And that's how uh, Isaac stayed in Igera. Hallelujah. And the Bible says in the same year he sold and he harvested a hundredfold. Because let me tell you the truth your preservation hallelujah the fulfillment of the word of god in your life must will be done or it must be done or it must become a, a, a reality when we are where god wants you to be not where everybody else is going to hallelujah not the business everybody is doing my god not the business that everybody in your family is doing hallelujah you are not you're very unique you're not a copycat of anybody you are very unique by the grace of god hallelujah so it is good all to know what is my destiny where where is my destiny connected hallelujah where is the lord taking me it's good to know all those things that you're going to enjoy the faithfulness of god in the name of jesus christ amen so number five we are saying this morning god is concerned about the dreams your dreams and your visions he's very much concerned about your dreams and your visions hallelujah my god very very that's why i have always said me i don't dream if i dream even if it is after 10 years that dream has a meaning hallelujah my god i could see visions but not dreams everybody's grace in their own way by the grace of god amen now what is a dream a dream now nah, simply means it is a nightmare it is it, it is um 
It also means fantasy. Hallelujah. It, it can mean a series of thoughts or images and sensations occurring in a person's mind during a, a, during sleep. Hallelujah. It is a series of thoughts or images or sensations occurring in a person's mind during sleep. Hallelujah. And it can also mean a cherished aspiration, ambitions, or ideal. Hallelujah. No, a vision. I said I'm going to deal with the, all of them, both of them at the same time by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A, a vision can mean a perception or it can mean a foresight. Hallelujah. It, it, it can mean a, fa uh, a faculty or a state of being able to see. Hallelujah. It can also mean the ability to think about or plan the future with imagination. Hallelujah. All wisdom. Hallelujah. That is vision for you. Amen. Now, um, I want us to know that dreams often uh, uh, they they give you foresight. You know they, they give you foresight and insight. Dreams will always give you foresight and insight. Hallelujah! Reading you to the action that should be taken, and that is why I'm saying in this hour of actualization, Hallelujah! You should be in a position as a child of God to know what action should I take here, what should I do here, Hallelujah! I have prayed, I have fasted. What should I do here, Hallelujah? It is should also be leading you to the decision that you are supposed to make hallelujah that is that is a dream for you amen now this will include visions and divine symbols because we are born again or the or the um or the Lord himself, you know, uh, will bring forth uh, that counsel of wisdom that will change the course of history in your life. Hallelujah. I'm about to show you that by the grace of God. Amen. Now, if you look at the word of God, I'm going to be very fast. I have some, some, some scriptures. If you look at the word of God in the book of Acts chapter 2, verse 17, and, uh, you know, George chapter 2 and verse 28, you know, it is a season of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit of God. The, the apostles are, uh, are getting the repetition of the same scripture. In the book of Acts chapter 2, that, that scripture is in the book of John chapter 2 and verse 28. We know the, uh, the season of the outpouring of the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, you know, the Bible says, you know, the old men will, will dream dreams. Hallelujah. The old men will dream dreams. But let me let me tell you, that does not mean that dreams are just limited. Where in this season of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, uh, it does not mean that uh, the, the dreams are just limited to the old men. Now, listen to this why god is saying this because generally my god it's very rare it's very rare to hear an old man saying saying i had a dream it's very rare hallelujah now the old it is going to uh, to happen because we're in the season of the outpouring of the spirit of god so the old men will dream dreams young men will see visions hallelujah young men will see visions now because of the cares of this life it is very hard for young men to be connected particularly in this generation but the lord is saying they are going to see what is impossible with the man and it's possible with the power of the holy spirit so young men are going to see visions hallelujah now um now, the, the young people, that is our sons and our daughters, we will prophesy. And I've seen this, this thing happen. Hallelujah. Uh, a woman of God who visited me yesterday was telling me of a story in uh, DRC Congo of an, a boy who is eight years. My God, he is eight years. He cannot even speak any other language. He can only minister or speak in, a, in, a, in French. And the Bible, I mean, the woman of God was telling me, this boy, my God, when he, he, he takes a pen and a paper, when he hears something about you, maybe in the cause of prayer god is when people are praying and shouting god is busy speaking to him and he takes a pen and a paper and he's writing a, a, an eight year old a boy and he's writing every the prophetic word has a backup of the scripture hallelujah so he writes and he writes now the woman of god tells me this boy had never seen me uh, he, he even he came to the prayer meeting in uniform you know school uniform hallelujah but when he saw me you know as we were praying he took a pen and a paper and he was writing and writing and because me and him we could not communicate he gave the, the, the whatever he wrote to the host of the woman of god and i'm telling you know a young boy he confirmed everything my god in the destiny of the woman of god and the, the, the woman of god a prophet a whole prophet who is 40 years plus hallelujah going to 50 years and this young young boy eight years he was able to confirm uh, many things in the life of the woman of god and a three quarter of them were confirmations hallelujah and uh, the, you know it is also good to get that 
direction of the Lord in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, not every, you know, nowadays, um, we, we, are, we are living in a generation when you speak in the spirit, some, uh, like particularly those young age, somebody will say, this is a, you know, harunation, no, this is a, this somebody is a, is a, is insane, you know, I've seen in a certain school in my country, uh, there was a certain boy, uh, who was, a uh, full of the Holy Spirit of God, uh, he was by that time in, in form three he was full of the holy spirit of god i thank god because he came uh, from a pastor's home and this young boy was uh, you know ministering when they went to the parade you know and assembly in the morning in the school he could see things and he could just appear at the front uh, and address the teachers and speak things out okay these are the kind of things i say this gift means nurturing hallelujah now he could just speak and, and speak and speak and whatever things he said he could see what other students could not see and he was just speaking in an assembly he just speaks and says teacher so and so this is what the lord is saying i see one two three things hallelujah oh my god the biggest brother they made is to make him a prefect so he could speak address the the the, the, the teachers and the school my the, 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 that school fraternity openly hallelujah and what happened now because the school could not bear because now teachers were being exposed publicly before the students now they could not bear they chased him away and uh he joined another school in, a, in another location and uh, i i recall the the, the parents saying that the the, the 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 head teacher of the school where the previous school called the school where he went uh, and they were they were inciting the other school that that boy should not stay there but let me tell you the truth because the spirit of god is spirit of control that boy was able to be maintained in school and he finished and uh, i've fo i've not followed it up to know what is happening so these are the things we are saying my god our young people our young sons and daughters will prophesy so uh, 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 parents I'm, I'm talking to us let us be very careful about the dreams and the visions of our children also not uh, not only god is not just bothered about uh, i mean i said not god can never be bothered god god is not just concerned about our you know because we are grown up about our visions and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and dreams he's concerned also about the our young people our children in the name of jesus christ amen now uh you can read for yourself in the book of um Daniel chapter 1 and verse 17 the Bible says and uh, Daniel could understand visions and dreams of all kinds of all kinds hallelujah that means uh, you know uh, there, there, there are people who have the ability my God I'm not talking about the people in the demonic world by job let me surprise you today that power you see with the diviners and sorcerers that is the that, that, that power originally is in the hands of the Lord because Satan has nothing for himself he, he, he's, he is a thief so he has stolen hallelujah Hallelujah. My God, he has stolen. That's what, what you are seeing. Because in heaven, he's a fallen angel. He used to be in charge of music in, in heaven. So down here, he's messing up with the music and triggering people and causing people to covenant their lives, even in the demonic orders, in, in, the, in the music industry. Hallelujah. So Daniel, had, uh, he could understand the visions and, uh, and dreams of all kinds. Hallelujah. And even in our generation, we have people. When God has given you a dream or a vision, May ask the Lord to order your steps if you're not able to interpret hallelujah, if you're not able to know the meaning hallelujah, just uh, uh, and inquire, I've seen people several, they said me dreams and vision somebody is asking me, I, I dreamt this I saw this, hallelujah and God by the power of the Holy Spirit is able to give us the interpretation hallelujah, he's able to give us the interpretation of those dreams in the name of Jesus Christ and I'm requesting the church of Jesus Christ uh, my God, if you're walking like with God. Do not ignore dreams and visions in your life. Do not ignore them. My job, they don't just come. Hallelujah. They don't just come. I have already said me, I am not a dreamer. I have a daughter who will dream. And my God, she will tell you, Mama, I dreamt. One, two, three. My God, she will come to you and tell you, Mama, I saw. Hallelujah. Mama, I'm feeling my Jehovah God. And I knew from the beginning that she's going to receive the impartation of the prophetic grace. Hallelujah. So anything she tells me, I take it right uh, and I am able now to, 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 to go deeper, you know, prayerfully and get to know what is the Lord saying. Hallelujah. And it's going to be a blessing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Much dreaming and many ones are meaningless. Now, this is what I'm um, 
Uh, Solomon is saying, much dreams and, uh, and wordings, you know, much dreams and words are meaningless. Therefore, fear God. Now, that is the conclusion of the matter. There are people who uh, in, uh, we are living in a season of uh, the spirit of divination is so much in the atmosphere. So, there are so many dreams, there are so many visions, but let me tell you the truth. Any dream or a vision that is, uh, that is coming from the throne of grace, it is, it is very distinct. It has a meaning. It, is, it has an agenda. Any dream or a vision that is coming from God has an agenda hallelujah i'm about to show you some things by the by the grace of god so solomon is showing us here before you you yearn for those or before you go that direction of so many dreams and visions begin by fearing god because let me tell you when you are in the, when you're walking the fear of god the dreams when the dreams come or the visions come now you will know I, I, i'm connected god could be warning god could be instructing hallelujah god could be giving me direction of our some matters or giving me clarity of us over some matters in the name of jesus christ now I've, I've I've told you I I, I said uh, I, I said it is good to testify I, I I think it was at the beginning of this week I, I I said something I think it was last week or so when I was ministering on one of the on one of the live broadcast and I said I, I wanted one of the days I wanted um I, I had an issue with a house girl in my house and uh, so I wanted to return a girl that was in my house some years back and uh, she was a good girl and I stayed with her but when she was leaving my house she really stole my things i came to realize that uh, if uh, she she stole even outside some 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 things outside i came to realize i think she was carrying one after the other because i could leave her and just go and you know uh, go for my international meetings and go where my children were in boarding school so uh, she was just there now listen to this I, I i just sat down and i'm like god this girl was good even if she did whatever she did she was good now let, let us call her back and we agreed with my children let us call her back but let me tell you the truth the same night even before okay we tried to look for her immediately but her phone was off but let me tell you the truth the same night i had a vision that was it was repeated twice the same night twice you know i i, I don't want to say it was a dream but it was a, a, an open dream i i mean an open vision i saw i saw whatever i saw and i woke up and told my children i have seen something that will stop us from getting that girl back in our house hallelujah because you know when somebody has done something like stealing or blah blah you can forgive them if you love them you just forgive them hallelujah and you're able to give them the right counsel by the grace of god so i was warned and that chapter was closed and that is it and uh, i'm at peace hallelujah now uh, uh now uh, when uh, when when you are alive as a child of god does not have the platform of the fear of god so the, even the dreams that will come into your life and the visions that will come into your life then they are not pure hallelujah and uh, many other times when uh, the people who dream dream uh, and uh, many other times when you are not okay the god will speak to you through a dream and will turn you back we will show you the formula of getting back of returning back hallelujah the bible says in genesis 20 and verse 3 God want you know the king of Gera. You remember that story. Uh, the, the king of Gera, Bimereki, when he had taken Abraham's wife Sarai. Hallelujah! And God warned him in a dream. That is God for you. He can warn. Hallelujah! He warned him in a dream. Hallelujah! Do you you cannot take my servant's wife? Don't dare mess up with with her. Hallelujah! And you remember even barrenness hit that family because of uh, trying to mess up with the wife of a, of a friend of God. Hallelujah! So God want a hit then somebody who was not even godly that those people are not of the of the true god so god want him hallelujah and uh, we, we are seeing at the end of the day you know abraham even prayed for them and they were restored because god is very faithful we see the word of god in the book of genesis 40 genesis 40 uh, and uh, and verse 8 hallelujah we see the back the baker and the butter the baker and the butter uh, during the time of joseph they had dreams hallelujah and the dreams they had uh, the, 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 the dreams were uh, going to, uh, to, to, to be reviewed by, da, I mean, by Joseph. Joseph appears, hallelujah, because God had made him the, the, in charge of the, of the prison. So Joseph appears, and he appears, and he's, uh, God is reading him to inquire from the baker and the butler what is happening to their lives. And they shared the dreams.
dreams and he told them God is able to interpret the dreams hallelujah what are we seeing after that that was a platform that led uh, that led uh, uh, Joseph uh, to to the fulfillment of his dream hallelujah and uh, we are seeing Joseph is now uh, summoned uh, in in the state house of their time hallelujah and that is God for you that is God for you he can cause other people dream for your sake we are seeing that hallelujah and uh, in and uh, you know God God is so amazing so Joseph remembered I mean, uh, Job, uh, the baker, uh, the, 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 the baker and the butler, they, they, they were serving Pharaoh, and uh, they, they, they had uh, been locked up together with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, the, with the Joseph. Hallelujah! And uh, you know, initially there were senior people where Joseph could not meet them without an appointment. If it happened like the way it is happening in our nations now, Hallelujah! But this particular moment, God has prepared a table for Joseph. Hallelujah! He has brought those two people uh, uh, at, uh, at, uh, at his. Uh, you know, has at his headship, and uh, Joseph uh, realizes something today is not okay with his people. Now, that can only be the spirit of God that helped Joseph to discern or to know something is not right with these people. Their countenance is very different, different today. And the Bible says he inquired from them, and when he inquired, he was able to restore them. I mean, uh, he was able, sorry, to interpret for them their dreams, uh, and exactly as he interpreted the dreams, it happened to be so. Now, I want you to see. Uh, I've always said that by the time Joseph was leaving his father's house, he was just a dreamer. This time God is promoting him. Hallelujah. Even in dreams and in visions, there is growth. God is a God of growth. God is a God of progress. God is a God of grace to grace and glory to glory. Hallelujah. Even in our visions and in our dreams, whatever you have been dreaming 10 years ago, don't tell me the grace of God is not moving in your life. Don't tell me it is not uh, the masses of God are not to be renewed in your life. The Bible says his masses are new every morning. Hallelujah. So we should see growth. There should be growth even in your visions and in your dreams in the name of Jesus Christ. So the Bible says in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, so whatever Dev, uh, me Joseph did for the butler and the baker, that was a platform. Their dreams were a platform that took uh, uh, Joseph to Pharaoh. Hallelujah. And that was the beginning of his victory and the fulfillment of the prophetic word in his life in the name of Jesus Christ. Now the Bible says in Genesis chapter 42 and verse 9, hallelujah, the brothers of Joseph, you know, they went fetching for food in Egypt. Hallelujah. And in the course of that, the Bible says, uh, and Joseph remembered the dream he had about his brothers. Hallelujah. You remember, he remembered. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When it is time for actualization, God will cause things to happen and he will also cause you to remember. Hallelujah. This is the reason why you saw this at this particular day. This is the reason why you had this at that particular day. And that's why I'm requesting the church. Hallelujah. My God, you saw you, God shows you some things and when they happen, he will let you know because uh, you are a spiritual being. You are a son of God. You are led by the spirit of God. Your father will let you know. This is the reason why you saw what you saw that day. This is the reason why I, I showed you this vision. Hallelujah. And it is going to be such a blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to read, to read some scriptures. I'll be reading some scriptures even as we continue by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. I want to read the word of God in the book of Jeremiah 23. Jeremiah 23 and verse 32. Um, there, Jeremiah 23 and verse 32. The Bible says, uh, uh, the Bible says, Behold, I am against those who prophesy false dreams. Hallelujah. The people who prophesy false dreams, the Lord is saying he is against them, says the Lord, and tell them, uh, and tell them, and cause my people to err by their lies and by their recklessness, reckless, recklessness, hallelujah, and their recklessness, yet I did not set them. All command them, therefore, they shall not profit, they, uh, they shall not profit these people at all, says the Lord. Hallelujah. When people, this is where the divination is really bringing a brother and false prophets, hallelujah. Somebody says, I have seen, I have heard, and these things are not coming from the Lord. God is saying he's against them because they error. Hallelujah. They err in what they say and it's coming from the Lord. They err in the visions and the dreams they, 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 they deliver to the children of God. And because these things they deliver,
deliver from uh, uh, purporting from God and they are not from God. My Jehovah, they really cause the children of God is stubble. Hallelujah. And this is where we are in the world. Somebody is saying, and the man of God said one, two, three things. By God, I have always said, church, I have always said, if somebody is saying something from God, the same God who is your father, hallelujah, and it should be a confirmation in your life. Somebody having a dream and they say, I see, I hear, hallelujah, and it should be connecting with your spiritual orb, hallelujah. Now, let me surprise you. The Bible is saying God is against this, uh, this, uh, this false prophet, this false prophet, uh, this, this uh, uh, false uh, div uh, 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 this diviners, you know, the, this occult sin. My God, the kingdom of diviners and uh, sorcerers and witches in the church. I'm not talking outside the church. I'm talking about the church. Hallelujah. These people who say, I see, I hear. And many of them are just doing those things for their own personal gain. Hallelujah. I see you are going to be blessed. Hallelujah. And people are, are shouting in the church, I receive. Hallelujah. You are receiving weed. You receive weed and you harvest weed. That's why there is a lot of vain labor, a lot of noise. Hallelujah, my God of all glory. And people are not getting anywhere. They are just revolved there. You know, there is a lot of a uh, hyping spirit in the church of Jesus Christ. Uh, people sit for hours daily, my God, receiving things that can never be received. At the end of the day, after somebody shouting and deceiving, there is nothing to receive. Hallelujah. There is nothing to show. Hallelujah. Because what? They, 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 they make the, the, the people of God error by their lies, by their recklessness. Hallelujah. The God is saying, yet I did not set them all, uh, uh, or, um, or, 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 or uh, I did not set them or command them. Therefore, they shall not profit these people at all. The people are not profiting. They, they purport to be following Christ. They purport to be following servants of God. Hallelujah. It is you to discern who is of God. It is you to test the spirit. To know whether that vision is coming from God. Whether that dream has come from God. Hallelujah. It is you to perceive for yourself. And to discern for yourself. Hallelujah. It is such a, 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 a trying moment in the world by the grace of God. But the grace of God is going to maintain us in the name of Jesus Christ. I also want to read the word of God in the book of Zechariah. In the book of Zechariah. Hallelujah. In the book of Zechariah chapter 10. Zechariah chapter 10. Zechariah chapter 10. Zechariah chapter 10. Zechariah just ahead there. Uh, uh, let me get the, the scripture. I said I have some scriptures. So I'm already there. The Bible says, Zechariah chapter 10 and verse 2. The Bible says, No, the Bible says, For the idols speak derision. Idols, they speak derision. Hallelujah. The diviners and vision rise. Hallelujah. Oh my God. And tell false dreams. Rikayanta Ramahando Robo Zia. Ah. My God of all glory, hallelujah. This is the word of God. If somebody is coming with a vision that has never come to pass in your life, test the spirit, hallelujah. They tell false dreams. No, I dreamt you driving. I saw you, hallelujah, getting a visa, getting married, hallelujah. And in your spirit, you're just, you, you know, there is that hyping spirit that is not going, the spirit of God is now confirming this all over on my heart, hallelujah. My God of all glory, you know, oh my Jehovah God, you know, there is a time, there is, I've written a book, there is a time I, 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 I had, um, you know, I had gone some, I, I loved praying the city of Nairobi, uh, you know, there, there, there are those 24 altar prayer altars, and I loved, I was like, God, can't you connect me with such kind of an altar, where I can, before I, I, I erased an altar for God in the city, and uh, you know, one time God just, uh, you know, ordered my steps in the city, and told me, enter here, so I went into that building, I entered, and I sat at the back, and uh, before I knew it, the person, the purported servant of God, immediately I entered and sat down at the back. He stopped preaching and he literally came for me at the back. You know, I was just bowing, you know, the way you just enter in a fellowship, you're just bowing to test the spirit and, you know, to connect yourself and, you know, to get the bearing, the spirit. I was just bowing like this and, uh, you know, I had somebody, you know, grab my heart and pull me and, uh, you know, my bag was on my thighs and I, I kept my bag down and, and I'm like, God, this, so when I looked, I saw it is a man who I found preaching at the altar and my God, he took me to the altar and he, he began working on me, the, the, speaking this, I, I cannot even remember what he said, but then I was very deep in the spirit and I could not connect. 
I could not connect. You know the way you can shut yourself off and you, you cannot connect because you, you are testing the spell and you are healing and you, you can perceive it. This one is not, something is not connecting. I believe somebody knows what I'm talking about. You know, I, I cannot really connect. You know, somebody is shouting and they are declaring and I don't know. I, I, I'm off. And uh, not once, not twice. I I am able by the grace of God. I'm able to shut you off. Uh, you are talking, and but I'm off. Hallelujah! I'm not connecting. I'm not there physically. I may be there, but spiritually, I'm not with you. Now I shut. Uh, now the, but the, uh, at the end of the day, you know. At the end of the day, I, I, you know, and, and I'm telling you, he never preached again. He just walked on me, kept the microphone down and left. Now, let, I, I sat back because I sat, actually he forced me to sit on a seat that was at the front there. I think it was his seat there at the front. Uh, and uh, and uh, I sat there and, and I, I'm like, God, what is all this? God, what is all this? Now, let me surprise you. It did not take long. Before the Spirit of God spoke to me and told me, he could not have preached when you were there because he never connected you because he knew if he did not suppress you and force you to fit in, you know, to, to, to whatever operation he does in the spiritual realm because he's a prince of the kingdom of darkness covering up in the church. So when I entered, I messed up the atmosphere. I messed up the atmosphere and he could not connect. And those people that you operate in, you know, those, those, those false people, they are able to see you. They are able to, oh my God, they are able to know you. So when the minute I enter there, my God, he, 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 no, I don't say he discerned. He saw it. They perceive it in their demonic operation. And he had to take me now to his altar and try now to suppress me so that I, he, he is able to throw, so that I don't mess up with his atmosphere. Hallelujah. Because he had really bowed the people in that place and i'm telling you my god before long my god because let me tell you the truth i am by the grace of god without of you may some of us are warriors my god when i descended it my God, when I descended, it, I really worked on that press. I really worked my job. I even went on the ground. No, several I went, I went on the ground. But any time he saw me, he could not look me at the eye. But let me tell you the truth. Thank God for the grace. Because we were able to deliver the destinies of particular servants of God. Because I'm telling you, my God of all glory. You know, God continued to open my eyes. And these things are happening. My God, God even told me, this man is on assignment to, to destroy the destiny of fathers in your country this man is on assignment to 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 kill my god the generals in the kingdom of god and i'm telling you the truth those things were happening i sat down with one of the leaders in that church and i'm like woman of god what is this god is saying and she confessed and she said these things have been happening but we do not know what to do hallelujah my god i thank god for the prophetic grace now these things are so hidden and these people my god that altar was a 24 prayer altar no people are there praying and you know and, and my god of all glory and i kept on wondering my god people are so bowed here they are praying what is happening and the lord told me they cover up and they are able to capture some people who are intercessors true intercessors they are able to capture them so that now they hide under that grace they hide under that grace even they they operate in their demonic operations in the name of Jesus. So the Lord is saying, they tell false dreams. Now I wanted to thank you, Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God is reminding me to tell you something. Now, for, for the few days, uh, you know, as, as I persisted to see the head of that matter, because it's God who had taken me to see these those things. Now, at the end of the day, you no know, the people could come there and somebody is called and prophecies are given. One day when I was seated there, the Spirit of God told me those are vain prophecies, just to keep to keep people bowed there. Hallelujah. So those you somebody will be called. I see, I hear. Hallelujah. Even the guests who come to minister, they are throwing that spirit. I see, I hear. Bra bra bra. But the Lord told me they are vain prophecies. They are not changing anybody's destiny. They are not taking you anywhere. They'll just keep you bowed there. Hallelujah. Today this prophet comes uh, all the, in quotes because they are operating in the same graces of the devil. Hallelujah. Now they come and speak to you. You know, you are so hyped. My God, you know, here, come, here, go. And in such, some of these altars, we have girls around those men of God in, in quotes. I call them men of God in quotes. We have women around them. Hallelujah. Who don't, senior women who don't even get married. They are just there because who are, they are covenanted. They are just there. Hallelujah. Oh my God. You know, I don't have time to speak about these signs because there are so many. Hallelujah. And uh, you know, you, uh, you know, you, 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 you hear too much. 
a year come here go but nothing goes on now i want to say something i had yesterday in the morning i was telling the servants of god who came visiting my house yesterday and i told them the lord woke me up with something and he told me he told me something about uh, you know about uh, you know the prophecies we hear particularly at the beginning of every year and the people shout and you know they celebrate now the one time the spirit of god spoke to me and he might have me the same thing yesterday because people keep on wondering why did we hear this and it is not happening it's not coming to pass now some of these things can even come to pass you know some of these things can come to pass because let me tell that's why i say and the bible is saying test every spirit because let me tell you the truth we have people who are covering up in the church and there's so much in the demonic operation so when they are speaking they are speaking whatever their the kingdom you know the kingdom of darkness that is covered up in the church is purporting to do or planning to do for that year so you, you are busy writing and they're you know and uh, and uh, and uh, and, uh, and they're saying i receive i do what hallelujah now when these things begin happening it is what they had pre-planned in their kingdom to do hallelujah so this is where people are right to they are not able to perceive they are not able to distinct who is speaking for god and who is not speaking for god hallelujah and uh, my god the, many people in the church are so right and i hear the spirit of god say people follow weed hey, because somebody said i had a vision i i dreamt hallelujah and now you think it is god and god showed me tells the spirit which god hallelujah and i heard from the lord which lord hallelujah oh my god of all glory hallelujah so the bible says the diviners and vision rise that is why many people are right to that way when somebody told is told you know uh somebody seated in a certain place every go every time people go they they they, they go queuing and like in a clinic some they are waiting for somebody to see for them to hear for them if you look at the ministry of jesus there was nothing like that hallelujah in the apostles ministry there was nothing like that when people gathered around jesus he taught them the word of god because let me tell you the truth if the word of god cannot sort you out any other thing will never sort you out. The oils will not heal you. It is the word of God. The Bible says he sent his word and healed their disease. Hallelujah. If uh, any other thing you do, even if somebody uh, see for you and hear for you all the years, you just be revolving around them, but there will be no uh, forward move in your work of faith. Hallelujah. Now, the Bible says, until false dreams, they comfort in vain. Are you hearing this? Now, these are the things I'm saying. I'm reading the word of God. Please read for yourself. The Bible says in Zechariah chapter 10 and verse 2. Let me read for those who are coming on board right now. Hallelujah. For the, for, for the idols speak delusion. Hallelujah. The diviners and vision rise. My God, so what you are seeing and what they have told you, everything is a lie. And tell false dreams. They comfort in vain. There is a lot of vain comfort. Hallelujah. Now, people are told, now God has, say, has said, we put on, on wrong clothes. Now you, you, you change. You put on wrong clothes. God is not found in those wrong clothes. Hallelujah. Now God is saying, women, we tie the turbines. Hallelujah. You go that direction. Now you, your life is not stable. Nothing. Your work of faith is not stable. Hallelujah. And there is no, as you do all those activities, you buy the oils, you sow the seeds, you do all those things. Your life does not grow there's no growth in your spiritual life hallelujah physically there, are, there is a lot of activities but if you look at the result or the the, the culmination of your of things in your destiny nothing there's nothing there's it is not comparable hallelujah and the bible says therefore the people uh where uh, the people went their way like sheep they are in trouble because there is no shepherd hallelujah that is what is happening right now hallelujah so we need to be very very alert by the grace of god in jesus name my sister woman of god prophetess uh woman of god helen i can see you god bless you let us continue with the word of god amen now uh the bible says in the book of matthew chapter 2 matthew chapter 2 and verse 13 the bible says the bible says you know the angel you can also read that from the book of matthew chapter 1 verse 20 to 23 when god wanted to intervene in the life in the life of um uh of uh, of, of of mary you know mary conceived by the uh, by the holy spirit hallelujah and uh, you know uh, she was on the, already bedroned to be married to joseph and when she became pregnant she 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 did not have a voice 
voice. My God, even she maybe she did not even know what to do with her fiancé. She did not even know how to explain because in a Roman language, how do you explain you are a bedroom to be married by somebody you are already in the process of preparing for a marriage? Then you are telling me the Holy Spirit, something I have never had in my life. You are telling me about a Holy Spirit I have never had that Joseph had never encountered or had anything about the Holy Spirit. You are telling me angels visited you. Why didn't they visit me? I'm the one who is supposed to be marrying you. They would have visited me to prepare me. Hallelujah. Or to use me to make you pregnant. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, because it was born of God, the Bible says, I love what the Bible says, what is born of God overcomes the world. Hallelujah. And that's why I have always told people, particularly the servants of God, hallelujah, if you know you have conceived it in the spirit, if you know it is a direction of God, hallelujah. And that's why I've been talking about the coverings people are talking about. Hallelujah. You know, I was looking at the scriptures. My God, somebody should even be showing me the scripture here today where 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 Paul was covered I mean uh, Timothy or or, or Titus that were covered by Paul hallelujah there, there's no scripture that says you cover somebody there's no scripture I've not come across it if somebody has come across it tell me hallelujah the Bible says we submit one to one another but not covering oh my God of all glory there's nothing like that in the Bible no this is hallelujah <laughs> oh hallelujah there's not no scripture say that Jesus covered the disciples there's no scripture you don't cover anybody. Hallelujah. There's nothing I cover. Hallelujah. The Bible says we submit one to one another, but not covering. Hallelujah. So we, we see that God came. Uh, God came uh, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And we are seeing the angel. I mean, the, the power of the Holy Spirit through the angel. The angel of God appeared to Joseph in a dream. And let me tell you the truth. It was the first encounter. And Joseph had not had such an encounter before. That's why I'm saying you are able to dig into one encounter. I've always said one encounter with God should transform your life. Hallelujah. Not so many activities. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not so many activities. Church of Jesus Christ, avoid activities in your life. Avoid activities of men. This is the things I've been saying. God is concerned about your dreams and your visions because anything about you should come from him. Hallelujah. It is by him, for him, and in him. Hallelujah. Everything now, the dream and the, uh, the dream is coming from God in the life of Joseph because what is supposed to be going through or what is supposed to be handling, it is ordained of God in his life. Hallelujah. And the Bible is showing me because it was of God and it was from God, Joseph was able to cooperate. You remember the Bible says that he wanted to divorce Mary secretly when he know he knew that Mary is pregnant and not his pregnancy. Hallelujah. He he, he desired and he, he decided to, to divorce her secretly. But before he did that, the angel came in a dream in the life of Joseph. Hallelujah. The people who tell us, the diviners will tell you, I saw angels, I had angels. Hallelujah. Those are the Bible is talking about vain comfort they'll give you vain comfort to, today they are giving you this tomorrow a different thing tomorrow a different thing but your life is not going anywhere we are seeing this encounter of joseph in a dream by by uh, i mean through the angels we are seeing there is transformation from inside there was such an awakening that's why we are saying in this life of reconstruction hallelujah there's going to be such prophetic or spiritual uh spiritual uh intervention Hallelujah! You know sensations. You you're going to encounter a lot of uh, a, a lot of spiritual sensations. Hallelujah! And they are going to get you into a lot of awakening. A lot of transformation will take place in your life. Hallelujah! Because you cannot encounter the divinity, and your life remains the same. Hallelujah! That's why I've always said, my Father, help me to encounter you by myself. Hallelujah! Help me, oh God! Can can somebody pray this morning? Tell the Lord, Father, help me to encounter you by myself. My God, flash out the voice. There is a lot of noise. Hallelujah. In your ears. Maybe you have heard too much. The Lord is saying this tomorrow. The Lord is saying this. Hallelujah. Maybe you are not able to do things. My God, because there are a lot of noise is surrounding your ears. So flash out all those things and own up and tell the Lord, Father, help me. Help me to perceive. Help me to, to, to perceive or to discern when you are speaking to me in clarity or with clarity in the name of Jesus because what you need, there are not many uh, activities, you know, doing this, I don't know, do this, my God of all glory, Jehovah Redeemer. How many things, uh, John chapter 9, the activity that that bright man was told to go and do by Jesus, it was just one touch. 
Hallelujah. If God says, now that I'm just saying in quotes, if God says when I buy a bottle of oil with a, a, a prophet's photo, I'm going to receive my healing. No, I have bought one. If I buy one bottle, if that thing is coming from the Lord, that one and encounter should deliver my life permanently. Why should I buy now and buy tomorrow and buy the other year and buy the other year with different information? Seriously speaking, church of Jesus Christ, avoid activities of men. Hallelujah. Because this is vain labor. Vain labor. Hallelujah. Avoid those things. Somebody is saying, I heard God say, I don't know we do this. I said you to this, this place. If God wants me to do anything for him, he will speak to me. And if somebody is going to bring a confirmation, and it shall be a confirmation. Hallelujah. Because my walk with God is okay. Your walk with God as a child of God should be okay. So that when somebody comes and says, God is saying so and so. Number one, you may not even have known it before because you don't know anything. We hear in parts and we prophesy in parts. But there should be that conviction in your spirit. You should be able to catch it in the spirit. Hallelujah. You should be able to catch it. I've always said that things of the spirit are not taught. They can even take you to any PhD school or whatever, theological school. But the things of the spirit are caught. You catch them in the spirit. It. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So the people of God are in trouble. They are like sheep without a shepherd. Hallelujah. So disconnect yourself. Free yourself. Hallelujah. Avoid vain labor. In, in my nation, I see so many prayer movements. My call, people are fasting nowadays. And there are so many TVs. This one is doing this. My God, in the same country, this one is doing this. My God, other things you switch on. Others are, 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 are people are falling. All of them, when somebody does their court like this, everybody is falling on the floor. And when those people wake up from the floor, there's no transformation. It's not about those activities. Now, let me, thank you, Holy Spirit. Let me clarify something. Now, you don't have to fall down. Don't, you don't have to fall down to encounter God. Mm. Saul fell down when he encountered Jesus. Hallelujah. But when the, uh, the, in the upper room, when the apostles started and they, the Spirit of God came down, no, none of them fell down. None of them. The Bible does not show me people fell down. None of them. None of them fell down. Hallelujah. My God. When the woman with the issue of bread touched the hem and she drew power of her healing from the garment of the, from the hem of the garment of Jesus, she never fell down. That was direct contact with Jesus. What are you telling me? What is this falling down nonsense? You know, you can be slain. <laughs> you, you can be slain by the power of the Holy Spirit of God. But there is a lot of demonic cooperation. The power of God is not in falling down. Hallelujah. I'm not, I'm not uh, trying to say you cannot fall. We have been saved before by the Spirit of God. Even I say even in your own house. Hallelujah. You can encounter God anywhere. My God of all glory. But it is not indicated. Uh, falling down is not an indicator that you have encountered God. Hallelujah. It's not. It's not. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Oh, hallelujah. How many times did Jesus fall down? <laughs> Holocaust people to fall down, yet he was a son of God. Now, let, let us avoid, you know, that's why the Bible is saying, Zechariah is saying, you know, vain comfort. Hallelujah. You fall down, you rise up, you shout, you, you vomit, you come up, blah, blah. Uh, uh, deliverance is real. We have also encountered disease, you know, but then it is not every day. I, and I keep on wondering, and me, I need this confirmation. Now, let me surprise you. Jesus being son of God, he knew Judas would betray him. And actually he called him. You know, my son made a statement yesterday that, that when Jesus called uh, Judas, it, uh, he gave him a, a, you know, a, a signed certificate of his death ahead there. You know, I was very excited. My son was preaching to us yesterday. But listen to this. Now, Jesus knew all that. He knew all those things would happen. But listen to this. Listen to this. There is not even a single... He knew is the, the devil that was going to enter Judas. He knew, but there is not even a single day. Jesus took Judas through a deliverance class. Not even a single day. Hallelujah. Not even a single day. I, I love the, the ministers who are called in that direction of deliverance. But then the church of Jesus Christ is taking it too far. It is not all about deliverance. And I keep on wondering, my God. Now, the, the Bible says, when I come to Christ, I become a new creature. The old is gone. Hallelujah. This is what we are seeing in the life of Mary Magdalene. She, before she got, uh, she got connected to Jesus, she was, uh, she was invaded. Her life was invaded by seven 
demons. When she was delivered, that was it. There was no second deliverance. Now, if somebody who is born again has some spirit, has demons in their lives, now that one does not need deliverance. A born again Christian does not need deliverance. What they need, yes, now that means, <laughs> because let me surprise, let me ask you for real, where would, the, where would a demon enter in my body seriously? Where? From where? If I'm still born again, from where? Now, what that person need is salvation. Hallelujah. They need to be reconciled back. In 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 the in the in the, in the, in the, in the path of salvation, they need now to repent, not deliverance. Hallelujah! Because oh my God, of oh where uh, two kingdoms under one roof, it's unheard of. It's what it's unheard of. One has to bow. Hallelujah! And if I'm born again and Holy Spirit filled, then you tell me there's a demon in me. Seriously, Hallelujah! Somebody can be tempted. You can, uh, you can, you can, uh, you can be tempted because we are still here on earth. But seriously, don't tell me there is a demon that is dwelling or living in me. My body, the spirit of God, indwells me. Seriously, can they be too? Hallelujah. Then, if somebody is born again and they, they are demon possessed, what they need, then there shows there, there, there seems to be a loophole. Hallelujah. And what they need is salvation. They need now to come to Christ to become the new creature. Hallelujah. My God. <laughs> Me and it's, uh, if you're watching me and you have some clarity of some of these things, please clarify for us there. You can write a note there and give us a scripture where, uh, the, 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 my God of all glory, hallelujah. Now, there is this divine girl who was following the apostles of Jesus Christ and she was saying the truth, hallelujah. And But the apostles discerned and they knew this one is operating another spirit and they rebuked the spirit and they knew that they delivered her. That is it. And she was delivered. The new spirit was removed from her life. That is it. Hallelujah. She was operating that because she was not born again. When she was delivered, when Mary Magdalene was delivered, when she followed the Christ, those evil spirits or those demons could not go back to her life. Oh my God of all glory. Oh my God of all glory. Hallelujah. Something is amiss, but God is going to help us by the grace of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we see... The Bible says in Matthew 2 and verse 19, In Egypt, after the death of Pharaoh, an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream. Hallelujah. God will always appear in a dream to you uh, to show you the way to cancel you. That's why the Bible says when you turn either to the left, God can do that in a dream. There shall be a voice behind you. Uh, hallelujah. That is done in a movement. It is not done when you are seated. The Bible says when you turn either to the right or to the left, it, it shows a movement. Hallelujah. I want to read the word of God. Uh, um, you can read for yourself because of my time, my media time. I'm being cautioned it is up. Hallelujah. Read for yourself Numbers chapter 12 and verse 6. Numbers chapter 12 and verse 6. You can read for yourself Daniel 7 chapter 1 up to verse 14. Hallelujah. The dream of Daniel. Hallelujah. God spoke to Daniel, cautioning, showing him things that were about to happen. Hallelujah. Genesis 41. You can read for yourself there. Pharaoh also dreamt. Hallelujah. For the sake of the positioning of, 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 of John and as I speak about Pharaoh, I'm also being reminded about Reuben and go to Jacob. My God, when Jacob packed and left after his season, he knew the season of uh, his season of restoration back to his father's land is, uh, uh, had come. The Bible says when he left, he never informed the uncle, but God dealt with Reuben. Hallelujah! When he was trying to follow, I mean, he, he purposed to follow Jacob. You know, Hallelujah! Now the Bible says, and God spoke to him. God warned him. The Bible says, and God warned Reuben through a dream or in a dream hallelujah that is God for you he can even want a heathen for your sake hallelujah through a dream or a vision hallelujah God is able to do that we see when God wanted to transform the life of our Corinarius my God of all God somebody who was a giver yet he was not born again somebody who was praying my God of all God the Bible says that you know God had his prayers and he saw the, the giving the kind of a giving he was doing my job uh, the, the apostle on the other side got a uh, got a vision and on this side hallelujah we see Cornelius also having a vision hallelujah that is God for you God is very orderly the visions of God come with order the dreams of God come with order anything that is out of order giving you vain comfort is not from God whether it's a dream from a senior apostle or whatever a senior apostle or whatever it is not from God hallelujah let us distinguish between divination and true prophecy hallelujah 
that this can only happen in your life when you have the Spirit of God, my Jehovah, reading you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Job chapter 33 and verse 14 and 18. We see, I want to read that. Allow me to read that particular portion of the scripture. It's very good. Let me read the scripture. Hallelujah. Just allow me, Job uh, chapter 33. Let me read for you that scripture. I mean, those three scriptures, they are very, very good. That three, verse 14, the Bible says, verse 14, For God may speak in one way or in another. Hallelujah. That is, I'm reading for you the scripture. It is good to back uh, the prophetic word or the, the, the prophetic update to the scriptures. It's very good. I mean, I love the word of God. Hallelujah. Now, for God may speak in one way or in another, yet man does not perceive it. In a dream, in a vision of the night, Hallelujah. And uh, they are not limited. Vision or dreams are not limited. You can even have a, an open vision and you are, you are traveling even in a flight. Hallelujah. Now the Bible says, while Samba, uh, the Bible says, uh, in, um, uh, 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 the Bible says, for God may speak in, a, in, in one way uh, or in another, yet man does not perceive it. So it is you to perceive when God is speaking, hallelujah. So when somebody says, I saw a dream, I had this, you should be able to perceive whether they are, they are speaking of your God or not. The Bible says, in a dream, in a vision or of the night, when deep sleep falls upon men, hallelujah. Oh my God, over oh glory, hallelujah. While slumbering uh, on their beds, then he opens the ears of men and he seals their uh, and he seals their instructions in order to turn man from his deed. Hallelujah. Are you seeing the, 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 the importance of, um, of, uh, of dreams and visions? Hallelujah. And conceal pride from man. Are you hearing me, church? Hallelujah. So the dreams and visions are to turn a man. Hallelujah. They open the ears of men. Hallelujah. They are to give you instructions that are sealed by God himself. Hallelujah. So that a man can be turned from their deeds. Hallelujah. We see that turned. A, a, a dream uh, turned the, the, the decision or the deed. Hallelujah. Whatever Joseph wanted to do, whatever uh, whatever uh, Reban wanted, wanted to do, whatever King of Gera, hallelujah, want Abimeleki wanted to do, hallelujah, the, the, the vision, the dream turned these people, hallelujah, from whatever deed they wanted to do, hallelujah, and he concealed pride from a man, hallelujah. That is, a, the, oh my God. Now, if somebody is, is, is uh, talking about dreams and visions and nothing is changing in your work of faith, Hallelujah. We don't see growth. We don't see progress. Then you should be asking yourself, where did these dreams and visions come from? Hallelujah. Now the Bible says in the book of Proverbs 29 and verse 18. Now, uh, now if you don't have a vision, you'll perish. Are you hearing this? You, you're going to perish. Acts chapter 18, uh, 9 to 10. Uh, you can read for yourself. Hallelujah. Let me read for you some of the Spirit of God had told me what to read. Let me read for you this very fast. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 18. Acts chapter 18, uh, verse uh, 9 and 10. Let me read for you that portion of the scriptures. The Bible says, Acts chapter 18, verse 9 and 10. The Bible says, Now the Lord spoke to Paul in the night by a vision. Hallelujah. That is God for you in the night. Do not be afraid, but speak and do not keep silent. Hallelujah. My God of all for I am with you and no one will attack you to hurt you, for I have many people in this city. Hallelujah. Men of God and women of God, who sent you there? God should be able to speak to you. Hallelujah. Through a vision or a dream. Hallelujah. So that you may have the formula of the courage and the confidence of doing what the Lord has sent you to do there by his grace in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says, uh, Habakkuk chapter 2, we all know those scriptures uh, in the book of Habakkuk chapter 2, you write your vision in broad letters, hallelujah, so that the messenger who is running may run with it, hallelujah, that is it, hallelujah, write it, hallelujah, have it, uh, we know those scriptures, Habakkuk chapter 2, amen, the Bible says in Acts chapter 9, 10 to 12, you can read the scriptures for yourself, Solo was a uh, delivered through the vein i mean through the pain i mean uh, uh uh soul you remember that time when he fell uh, when he encountered jesus and he fell hallelujah he was delivered hallelujah uh from the pain you know he, he had become bright uh by a man uh, of god called ananias hallelujah now um <clears throat> this ananias had a vision hallelujah god gave ananias a vision for the sake of the deliverance of soul Hallelujah. That is God for you. 
Hallelujah. Can can we read, look at the word of God? Oh my God, my media team, kindly just few minutes. Let me finish this. Second uh, uh, Corinthians, Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians chapter, Second um, Corinthians chapter twelve, Second Corinthians chapter twelve, one to four, Second Corinthians chapter twelve. One to four. The Bible says quickly, it is doubtless not profitable for me to boast. I will come to I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. Hallelujah. It is doubt, uh, doubtless not profitable. Are you seeing what Paul is saying? Now the Bible says, I know a man in Christ who uh, who 14 years ago, whether in the body I do not know, or whether out of the body I do not know. Mm, uh, Second Corinthians, yeah, I do not know. Yeah, um, God knows such a one who was caught up to the third heaven. No, God knows, hallelujah. And I know such a man, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know. God knows. How he was caught up in the paradise and had <laughs> inaccessible, uh, in, inaccessible words which it is not lawful for a man to utter. Hallelujah. There are people, Paul is saying, I know. Hallelujah. There is a dark heaven. My God, that means the Spirit of God is telling me there are levels you can have intimate relationship with God. And there is a third heaven. Hallelujah. When you are just seeing a heaven here, there is another third one. And you can only get to, the, to such kind of levels when your walk with the Lord is okay. So what am I saying? God can cause people to dream for your sake. God can cause you to dream for your sake. Hallelujah. Or have a vision for your sake or for the sake of others. Hallelujah. So it is a two-way traffic. God can, uh, uh, we are seeing that in the life of Cornelius. You know, he's uh, getting a vision at the same time on the other side, the apostle of Jesus Christ is getting, Peter is getting a vision. That is God for you. Hallelujah. So let us avoid the vain labor. Let uh, nobody come uh, and uh, now let me tell you the truth. If somebody my God, one of the prophets who is watching me here this morning, she sent me a message, hallelujah, in my inbox and she told me, man of God, I had this vision, I had another day she told me, I had a dream, hallelujah that is it, and if you look at that dream or the vision, it's really consigning with what God had already put in my spirit or what God is doing within my life, hallelujah now that is it, that is God for you God is very orderly, he can he will not, oh my God, these of God and our lives are not strange things Things. He's our father. Hallelujah. So avoid this spirit of divination that is hyping people with dreams and visions and there is no spiritual growth. There is no spiritual growth. Hallelujah. Let's just avoid these things. Hallelujah. And we are going to enjoy the faithfulness of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. So God is so much concerned about our dreams and our visions. He's so much concerned about our dreams and our visions. And let us be on a very, I mean, let us be on very high alert, particularly in these early times. Because the Bible says, some people will come and say, you know, I see this, I see this. People will come and do these things. Hallelujah. They will even say, Jesus is there. Oh no, these things are here, bra bra. They are going to bring a lot of confusion. Hallelujah. My God of all grace, there is a lot of vain comfort in the church of Jesus Christ through fake dreams and visions that are not causing any growth in the in the lives of the children of God. Hallelujah. Anything that comes from you uh, from God for you, whether a vision or a dream, it should bring growth, and it should bring transformation in your life, and it should bring the counsel of God, and it should bring down the might of God, and it should bring down into your life the direction of God. Hallelujah. Anything of the contrary, there should be a warning of God. Oh my God, the counsel of God. Hallelujah. The rebuke of God. Hallelujah. And it should be able to to, to, to correct your deeds or to, to, to order you to the right direction as God has purpose for your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything of the contrary spirit is not from God. Hallelujah. Avoid the labor that is coming from the hands of men that is covered up in the Lord, but it is not of God or from him in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So I hear the Lord say, oh my God, I'm going to deliver my people. 
I'm going to deliver my people from the fake. Hallelujah. God is mercifully going to deliver his people from the fake, from the diviners, the false teachers, the false prophets. Anybody destined to heaven, God is going to do the operation of delivering their lives from such hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So, desire that your ears hear God for yourself. Hallelujah. Desire also to see for yourself. Not every time somebody is seeing for you. You are also a son of God. Hallelujah. Let the eyes of your understanding be opened so that you are able to see also for for yourself. Hallelujah. Be able to hear God for yourself. Even when somebody is saying, God is saying, you should be able to connect. Hallelujah. Not connecting with a seed. Connect. And you are, you, you are taking a seed. Oh my God. You know some of these things. My God of all glory. <laughs> for Timothy. For Timothy. You know, to receive the impartation of the counsel or the mentorship he received from Paul. Hallelujah. There is not even a single day we see Paul saying, so a seed in my life, so that you cannot you can connect with my grace. He knows this. No, there's not even a single day when Jesus called the disciples, my God, and mentored them, made them his apostles. There's not even a single day we see Jesus saying, now so you are seed, so that you can connect to my grace. Seriously speaking, he taught them the word of God. There's not even a single day he sat down and told them, even the congregation that was gathered, that gathered every time allowed Jesus, there's not even a single day he stopped and told them, you know, so you are seen so that you can connect with the word I have taught you. Seriously? And that's why you, you see, faithfully there are people God commanded or God burdened to support the ministry of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Do the work of the ministry. That is what Paul is telling the son. Hallelujah. Do the work of the ministry. A, 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 whatever else you need in your life as a servant of God, as you continue doing the assignment, God will command for you. He's a God who is able to make a way where there seems to be no way. No, people are literally copying because you saw somebody. My God of all glory, you see some of these things, my God, on TV everywhere. Even on these media platforms, my God. After every ministration, somebody is, uh, is, is saying, connect yourself to this word with a seed. Hi, my God. Are, oh, my God of all, connect with a seed. Seriously? You are connected to who? To a human being with a seed. Seriously, my God, I'm a whole seed. I'm a seed by myself. Hallelujah. My God of all glory. Let, let us, oh, my God. And that's why you see, I know of people, I know of people, my God, who gave because so and so said they give, my God of all God, and they gave, and they have given anything that was supposed to be bought, they have bought, but my God, they, they have become poor. They have not, somebody had a, a home, they don't have a home anymore. Somebody had cars, they don't have a car anymore. My God of all glory, this God. This, my, the, God, the, the kind of a God I worship cannot take me that direction. When he took Job to that direction, you know, where the devil touched his everything, we see a permanent, oh my God, and a better restoration on a higher note. That is God for you. What, my God, that's why the Bible says, if I am willing and obedient, I will eat the good of the Lord. Hallelujah. If I give this handkerchief, my God, because God has told me to do it, to sow as a seed in the, sowing is there, and giving is there, I'm a giver, my God of all glory. But we do it as prompted and as, as led by the Spirit of God. Because the Bible says anything you do, either in deeds or in words, including your giving, should be unto God. Hallelujah. Because then He's the rewarder. Of, the, of those who seek him diligently, even through the giving. Hallelujah. Now, anything you do because somebody has told you to do for their own personal gain, even if you gave your everything, there will be no reward. There will be no return. That's why uh, Jeremiah is saying, this is vain. I mean, Zechariah is saying, this is vain comfort. Hallelujah. Do this and I'll do this. Now, God is a father. My God, the formula is very clear. In the book of Matthew 6 and verse 33, the Bible says we seek his kingdom first and his, and its right, and, uh, and his righteousness and all other things. My God of all God, can we stop pursuing things and pursue the one of the things? Hallelujah. Pursue God. Hallelujah. Seek his kingdom. That means pursue God. Hallelujah. Fear him and obey his commandments. That is the conclusion of the matter. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. And the Bible says, and all other things will be added unto us. All other things, including all other things. Your good health is there. Hallelujah. Your promotion is there. Your healing is there. Hallelujah. Do what you're supposed to do as a child of God. Obey the commands of God. Fear him. Hallelujah. And all other things, anything else you need. The Bible says the hidden are learning after these things. Hallelujah. They learn after lands. They learn after houses. But the Bible says, but our Father in heaven knows that you need all these things. Hallelujah. So, my God, can we avoid vain labor? 
Can we avoid vain comfort? Hallelujah. Things that are not of our God. Can we just discard them? Disconnect oh my God. Before you learn tomorrow for the service, I ask yourself, where am I going there? Now, because anything you do even by going there, God should order your steps. The Bible says the steps of a righteous man or a good man are ordered by the Lord. It is God who should order your steps there. Don't just go. Because your mother has been going there, my God of all God, don't just uh, team up anywhere. Men of God, don't just do anything. Because you saw when they begin with praise and worship, the Spirit of God comes down. That is their formula. Ask God for your formula. The formula of conquering the Red Sea during the time of Moses, it was not the same formula God used during the time of Joshua when they were getting uh, across Jordan. God is a D of, 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 of uh, different formulas. Has God to give you a formula to do the ministry he has given you. Every ministry from God comes with a, with a very clean blueprint. Hallelujah. Become original. Remain as an, an original being. Handle your marriage with originality. Take care of your children with your originality. Hallelujah. Take care of your business with your, your originality. It is good to get counsel. We get counsel. But let me tell you the truth. The conclusion of the matter is in you in your thoughts in your in your in your sight hallelujah in your heart in your on your on your feet hallelujah in your visions and in your dreams those are the things i've been speaking to you the whole of this week hallelujah so the ball is still in your coat <coughs> sorry the ball of your destiny thank you holy spirit the ball of your destiny the Lord is saying it is still in your court. Hallelujah. It now matters how you are going to kick it and uh, on which direction you are going to take it. That is what is mattering. That, I mean, that is all what matters this morning by the grace of God. So make the right choices, my God, because every choice you make as a child of God has repercussions. Every choice you make has repercussions. repercussions. So choose for yourself today. As Joshua is saying, Joshua chapter 21, he's telling the children of, your, of Israel, choose for yourself today. If you choose whatever direction you choose, I have already have my mind made up. Me and my family, we shall serve the living God. Hallelujah. That is it. You make a choice like Daniel. We cannot defile our, ourselves. You make a choice like Joseph. I don't go this direction. Hallelujah. It is your personal direction. It is your personal destiny. May the Lord help you. May the Lord enlighten you by the power of his Holy Spirit so that you are able to live according to the, the blueprint that God has for your destiny. And in whatever you are doing, either in business, in marriage, whatever God has uh, caused you to do or to engage yourself in, if it is not led of him, kindly disconnect yourself because God does not want you to enjoy a vain comfort that is not bearing fruit in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. For the men and the women of God, mind about those things you are calling coverings. Because if you are covered, you can never become. Hallelujah. Mind about those things. Mind about those things. If the Bible says we submit ourselves one to another to another but not covering anybody you cannot cover anybody nobody no human being can cover any other human being hallelujah our covering is god hallelujah that is it hallelujah he's our lives our lives belongs to him hallelujah everything about us belongs to him hallelujah so everything we do my god of all glory we should do unto him hallelujah it is by him for him and in him Hallelujah, because he is our all in all in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless him. That is the prophetic update on the seventh day of November 2020. May the Lord perfect his will. May the Lord complete his agenda in your destiny and in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. May we share the word of God. I also want to invite those who are within the city of Nairobi, and you're looking for a place of worship in truth and in spirit, my God, oh my God, I take this opportunity on behalf of my dad in the Lord, I'm working on the ground with my dad in the Lord, he, he, we have joined up the ministry, and oh my God, we are doing the will of God, and uh, my God, Mary and Elizabeth have reconnected, and I'm telling you, just on time when we are both pregnant of the revival of, the, of our country, Kenya, and I'm telling you the truth, the Lord is doing tremendous things, so if you're looking for a place of worship, 
worship in the city of Nairobi in the nation of Kenya. You can even drive. Now we are coming in the city of Nairobi. When you get there, our contacts are all over. You can just get uh, get hold of us. And uh, you know, there is a place for everybody. Come, let us hear what the Lord is doing by his grace in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord watch over you. And may his countenance shine upon you, uh, your life. Mind about your thoughts. Mind about your you, you, uh, you, um might about your you are i've not had the last one and i don't feel that going that direction but the spirit of god is telling me might about your confession your tongue might about your confession your tongue might about it that is the last one i would have handled but i'm hearing the spirit of god just tell me to mention it just might about that is the number six might about your confession might about your confession hallelujah because you you, you possess what you confess amen so uh <clears throat> might about your heart might about your thoughts mind about where you are step mind about your 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 i mean your dreams and your visions because god is i mean is concerned about all these things in the name of jesus christ so may the lord bless you may the lord watch over you and may his countenance shine upon your life again by the grace of god in jesus name shalom and have yourself a good day thank you